Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and today we're here to talk about the five biggest mistakes that sellers make when they try to sell their home for sale by owner. All right, so here we go. The biggest mistakes that home sellers make when they try to sell the home by themselves. Mistake number one is setting the price too high. It's extremely important to price the home correctly from the beginning. Uh, a lot of people think that by setting the price high, they're setting, them up, uh, you know, they're setting themselves up to negotiate and then potentially come down. The most exposure and the biggest wow factor that your home is gonna have is in the first two weeks on the market. That's when it's a new listing, there's still a hot buzz about it, and that's when buyers are really the most interested. So what happens when a buyer walks into a home that they feel is overpriced, they say it's a nice home, we'll think about it, and then they walk out and then they go see a couple other homes, they keep searching for a home that they feel is a better value. So they tend to not write the offers, they just, you know, Consider it and move on. So it's extremely important to price the home where buyers and the market feel the value really is to get those offers. At the end of the day, we want that multiple offer situation to help bid the price up. Homes that are priced too high from the beginning end up sitting longer. So a lot of sellers wanna start off here and then you know try to negotiate back down to here. But what ends up happening is the home sits on the market for longer. You end up having to do price reductions and then buyers smell blood in the water it ends up selling for a lot less than it, would, than what it would have if it was priced correctly from the beginning and it takes much longer to sell. So it's extremely important to price the home correctly. Mistake number two that sellers make is lack of exposure. It's extremely important to list your home on the multiple listing service with a realtor because that's where realtors are advertising your property to other realtors. You wanna make sure that you're getting the absolute best exposure to every buyer and all of their agents, no matter where they're coming from, because the more buyers and the more agents you get to look at your house and get showings, the better potential of getting that multiple offer situation and driving the price up, which is what most sellers are looking for. Even with all the information online these days, buyers still prefer to work with a real estate agent that can help them sort through all the data and save them tons of time. There are really only four types of buyers. There's a first time buyer who typically needs their home, their handheld, and they want some guidance from an experienced real estate agent. There's the move up or move down buyer, which is someone who is selling another property and either you know, upsizing or downsizing. And those buyers typically are already working with a realtor to sell their property. Then there's the relocation buyer. That's someone who's moving from out of the area, maybe out of the state. They might not be familiar with the way the contracts or the real estate market is down here or the different areas. So those people are most likely to work with a real estate agent. And then you have the tire kickers and the investors, the people who maybe real estate agents were not willing to work with because they couldn't get approved and they couldn't afford your house even if they wanted to. And investors, all they're really looking for is a deal. So you know they're gonna write you an all cash offer, but for 60% of your home's real value. So the majority of the buyers are working with a real estate agent so it's very important to get the best exposure and work with a real estate agent yourself to make sure everyone is seeing your property a good listing agent is, is able to generate a ton of inquiries and buyer interest by marketing your property everywhere not just on one industry website but everywhere remember the more buyers and more agents who are interested in your home the bigger potential to drive the price up with that multiple offer situation and get you at the end of the day as the seller a higher price mistake number three that sellers make is not responding to buyers fast enough so in today's internet savvy world you really have to answer every inquiry within two minutes so you know as a seller do you really have the time or technology to answer every single phone call, text message, or email about your property within two minutes. Here at the Mandel team, we have a system set in place that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, no matter where the buyer is inquiring from, if they inquire on one of our listings, they're getting an automated text message, they're getting a video email from us, making sure that they know we got their information, we're here to answer their questions and schedule a showing. If they can't get the information you know, right now when they want it, they're gonna find another, another house, they're gonna find someone else who can get them that information, and you're gonna potentially miss a sale. Mistake number four that home sellers make is qualifying the buyers that come into their house before they get inside their house. We as real estate agents, we specialize in this all the time. We know the questions to ask to make sure that we're not letting tire kickers and random strangers into your property. On all of my listings, I make sure that all the, the 
buyers who are coming in are already approved and they're not wasting your time or my time. You also want to protect yourself from strangers coming into your house. How do you make sure that they're not looking to hurt you or they're not bad people in any way? We make sure that all our buyers are pre-approved so that way they've at least shown someone they can afford the property. You know, they've gone through credit checks and stuff like that to make sure that they're decent people and you're not putting yourself in a dangerous situation. Mistake number five that sellers make is negotiating the contract. So sellers may not be familiar with the terms of a real estate contract and what to look for in an offer, what makes an offer a strong offer. That's what we do every single day. Our team sells 70 plus homes a year. We know what makes a good offer. We know what to look for when negotiating. So we're making sure we're getting good money and earnest money deposits. We have a short inspection period. We have a short loan approval period. We know how to negotiate uh, inspection issues, appraisal issues, what's standard for closing cost, all that kind of stuff is all negotiable per the contract. You want to make sure that you're not paying, you know, buyer's closing costs if you don't need to. You want to make sure that the deal you're accepting is, you know, a, a good deal. And most sellers don't know the terms of this contract to know what is or is not standard in our market. That's what we do every single day. So that's it. Those are the five biggest mistakes that home sellers make when they're selling their home by owner. If you're considering selling your house, I highly encourage you. Give us a call, shoot us a text. We'd love to show you what we do that's different from the competition and all the other realtors out there to help our sellers achieve the, the goals that they want, the highest price in the shortest period of time, netting the absolute most amount of money so they can get on to their next destination. I'm Andy Mandel with the Mandel team. Thank you so much for reaching out.